Hi guys! In this video, we are going to talk about how to add Marketplace to Facebook page. Now let's get right into it. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to go to our Facebook um, website or we are going to open our Facebook app and we are going to log in into our account. If you don't have an account on Facebook, you need to sign up. So this is our Facebook interface and for us to be able to add a marketplace to our Facebook page, we are going to need to make a Facebook page first. Now if you already have the Facebook page, then just wait for the next sequence. Now we are going to try to create a new page on our Facebook account. So we are just going to go to the left corner of our interface and we are just going to click pages. Now we are going to create a new page, so click this tab. Now this is where you're going to start your page. So we are going to write the name of our page since it is a requirement. So let's say the name of our page is Kitai. And then for the category, enter a category that best describes your page. Now the category can be anything. If you are into business, like you want to sell clothes, jeans, or necklace, jewelries, shoes, and so on and so forth, or food, delicacies, or desserts. So you can write anything here. Now if you're in, into academics or if you're a digital creator, you're an influencer, you can also type the category here. So the category will best describe your page. So we're gonna go ahead and write clothing for our category since we are going to be selling clothes. So it's really up to you. And then for the bio, it's optional. So it's better to put a bio here because when the buyers or, you know, the people who's going to visit, visit your page, they know what to expect from your page. They will know what you offer or they will know what your page is about. So after that, we are just going to click create page. So it says here we have created too many pages recently. So we're going to try this one later. But if you're successful with that, if it's your first try to make a page, then it's going to be good to go already. So once you've created your page, you are going to be able to change your background photo here, and you can also write, and you can also put your profile picture here. So we are just going to open a page that I've uh, made earlier. So we're just going to click on this. So let's say you already made your page. So this is actually how your page looks like. So as what I've mentioned earlier, you can change the background photo and your profile picture. And you can also see how many likes you've gained so far in your page and how many followers you, you have. So below here in the tabs, you can see the tabs, the posts, about, shop, mentions, reviews, and followers and more. So we're going to go ahead and click shop. So below here, as you can see, view all products. So I haven't had any products yet. So we're going to add a product here in our shop. So we're just going to click on shop settings at the right hand corner of our interface. And we're just going to click shops and it will lead us into the commerce manager page. So this is where we can do a lot of things in terms of our shop. Or in terms of our page basically so here in our home page we can add our collection our product and the discounts that we can offer to our buyers if we are of course into business you can also have your offers banner here your carousel now we're gonna go ahead and add a product so we're just going to click add new and then we are going to click product so you can manually select product or you can show a product tailored to each customer. So we're just going to do this one and manually select product. So click confirm. So you're going to select a product you want to feature on your shop's homepage. If you don't have the product in your catalog, you can add it from here. So you can search it by product name or by ID or we can click on add new product here. So we are just going to add an image and then the title and then the description and then the website link 
So we're gonna go ahead and click a new item if we are going to add another item to our page. So we're gonna add an image here and then we can drag and drop to upload or we can choose files on our device. So we're just going to click choose files on our device. So we're just going to get photos that we had. So most of them are from Shopee or from Google. So you can add more images and make sure that the images need to be at least 500 by 500 pixels and no larger than 8 megabytes. So just click save. By the way, you can add more images if you want and then write the title of this product. Let's say this is a baggy jeans. And then for the description, so we're just going to write this is uh, pre-logged. So we're just going to add another image here. We're just going to click choose files on our device. So we're just going to click save. And then this time it's going to be address. And this is brand new. After that, again, you can add as many images as you want. So as you can see in each item, you have there the delete option. So if you want to delete the row or that specific product, you can do that very easily. You're just going to click on delete row. Now, if we want to add a variant, so we're just going to click on this item and then we can add a variant or we can duplicate an item. So we're just going to click on add variant. We're going to put the size of the baggaging. So let's say this is 25 to 26. And then this one is 27 to 28. And then you can add another variant of baggy jeans. Now it's going to be on a different size, which is 29 to 30. So that at least your buyers can see the sizes when they're going to check on the product. Now, we are going to add a website link to this. Now, if you have a Shopee account, then that's better because you can use that as um, your website link for that certain product. So let's say we're going to go to Shopee since I have a Shopee account. So if you don't have any Shopee account, then please create one so that you can add it into your website. So here's our product and we're just going to copy paste our link here. And we are going to go back to our Facebook page and then paste it here. We're just going to copy it to all of them. So if they are on the same, um, they have the same link, then you can do that. If not, uh, let's say for example for the dress, if the dress has another link, then you are going to put the link here. And then next is the price. So we're going to put the price of our items and after that we are going to put the sales sale price so again it's optional so if you are conducting or if you're having a sale on your page or on a specific product you can put it here okay so let's say i'm going to have a sale price for this so instead of 250 i'm going to write 230 pesos so we are going to add a product category here it's optional but it's better to have so that at least it's easier to search. Now for the condition, this is where we can, of course, indicate. So it's used like me. And for the age group, so it's going to be optional as well. But it's better to put um, an age category here. And once you've done that, just review the items here if they are correct. And once you're good to go, then you can upload items. So we're just going to click on that. And that's it. That's how we're going to add products to our Facebook Marketplace on our page. I hope that you learned something in this video. And if you have questions, please don't hesitate to write them below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!